everyone! I'm John Patrick Green, and I am the writer and artist of Investigators, and I'm going to show you how to draw uh, some of the characters. So, I'm going to draw the character Mango, who is one of the main alligators in the book. And to do that, I always start with the eyes of the gators. Uh, both of the gators look very similar. Uh, actually, <laughs> I start with the back of the head sometimes, but it leads right into the eyes. And as I was saying, both of the alligators look very similar. Their, their main difference is their jaw, which I'll get to in a second. So their eyes are basically two little loops. Um, or actually, I should say their eyebrow area, uh, the sort of their forehead. And then I do the top of the snout. And then I do the nose, which is two smaller loops, very similar to the eyes. And here's where the big difference between Mango and Brash uh, comes in. Mango has a curved chin, and Brash, the other alligator, has a square chin. So that's Mango's head. And then I do the body. And the body is sort of a, uh, like a tapered rectangle shape. And there you go, there's the body. And I do the legs, and the legs are kind of just sort of long tubes that are about approximately the same height as the body or the torso. And at the end of the legs are, of course, the feet. And the gators on their feet, they have three toes, which are little triangles, which are basically an M shape. So there's the feet. And usually I also draw little lines here to indicate where the legs and the feet bend at the ankles. So there's the body and the legs and the head. So then I draw the arms. And one arm is often down by the side, so it just sort of uh, attaches to the side of the body like that. It's basically a very long, thin triangle with an other M for fingers at the bottom. Then I draw the other arm, and the other arm, you know, we can have the other arm doing something. So maybe he's just holding it up. And while usually the gators have three fingers a lot of the time, a lot of times uh, just three fingers are visible, they do have thumbs. So at the end of this arm, which is kind of like a macaroni shape, I will draw a thumb, and the thumb is coming inward like, like that, uh, because he's going to be holding up one finger. And their fingers, when they're extended, are like longer triangles. And then little rectangles for the, the closed finger. So he's going, he's going like that. So there's Mango. He's almost done at this point. Uh, he needs a tail. And the gator's tails, sometimes they, they swirl, sometimes they go up, sometimes they curl around, but very often they just sort of hang behind. And they are like a little, uh, almost part of a half moon, not even a half moon, a quarter moon, a waning moon shape that just sticks out the back. And then a little portion in between the legs that's visible. Uh, so now we need some details, obviously. Uh, at the back of each gator's head is, um, is a line of like ridges. 
And on the back of their heads, they each have four little ridges. And then those ridges continue on the tail. And basically, however many fit on the tail is however many go there. Uh, so now he needs actual eyes, little pupils, which are just very thin little ovals. They're almost just lines. And then nostrils, which are usually two little dots. Uh, and Mango, since he's often pretty happy, he, he usually has a big smile. So give him a smile, give him some teeth, give him like a, a little bit of tongue there showing and fill it in. And now he needs uh, some eyebrows to add to his expression. Right, there we go. Um, so his head is maybe a little bit small, but I'm kind of drawing at a, at a weird angle. Um, his head is probably supposed to be a little bit bigger, but it's close enough. You get the idea. Uh, but he's not done yet uh, because he is an investigator and so he needs a vest. So the vests are actually pretty easy. You start with a V shape at the top of the neck area, top of the chest. And then at the bottom is a W shape, which just goes like that. And there we have the start of the vest. Of course, then all it needs is two little dots for buttons. Most of the vests that the gators wear have two buttons. Um, and the vest can change depending on whatever job uh, they have that they're going undercover as to investigate mysteries. Uh, and then underneath the vest are these little belly stripes. And there's usually two or three stripes in the bottom and then another two or three at the top. And there you go. That's Mango, basically. Uh, but now he needs um, a gadget to come out of his vest because the, the investigators, the, these vests, they're not normal vests. They are very exciting spy technology. So they have these gadgets that pop out whenever they need something uh, in their investigation. And so the, the, the gadgets extend on these, these little arms, these little folding arms that stick out. And at the end, let's see, what could be a good gadget to give uh, uh, Mango here? Let's draw at the end of the uh, arms. This is usually a, a clasp that is like holding on to whatever gadget it may be. Oh, but you know what? Maybe, okay, I'm not going to give him a gadget. I'm going to give him a clue. So maybe he found a clue and he is picking it up off the ground. And I'm gonna make this clue. And it's a very wobbly circle and it's supposed to be a cookie. Uh, I'm gonna make it a chocolate chip cookie. So I'm gonna add some, some little chips and then maybe there are some crumbs falling. Maybe there's some crumbs on the ground. And so he picked up this cookie as a clue. Uh, but what mystery could he be solving uh, that he came across a cookie? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, uh, since there's two investigators, I'm going to add Brash into this picture. Uh, there's not a lot of room for him, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Brash at the bottom here. Um, and as I said earlier, the gators, they're... Uh, they look very similar. They're drawn very similar. And there are big differences in their heads. And so I'm going to draw Brash's head. Uh, now Brash's head is closer to what size mangoes should have been. Uh, so Brash is going to be down here. I'm going to draw his eyes and his nostrils. And we're going to give him some angry eyebrows because Brash is often frustrated with Mango. Um, 
and he's going to be yelling something. So he's going to have a mouth like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw little, his little hands here, like that. And then I'm going to make part of a circle here. Well, first I'm going to finish off uh, his head and body. So there's four there, four uh, head ridges, his belly lines, and this circle here, which we see a little bit right there. And I'm going to avoid that the circle here. So he's coming out of the sewer. So this is like a manhole, an open manhole. Um, because the investigators, uh, since they're alligators, and alligators in the sewers is a, is a thing, they get around town by flushing themselves in the sewers. So often they are emerging from the sewer. So obviously Mango thinks he's found a clue and Brash is upset about it. So I'm going to add a balloon of dialogue since the investigator's book is a comic, it's a graphic novel. So that means they have balloons of dialogue. So Mango here can be saying, look, Brash, I found a clue. And I'll just close off that balloon. And Brash will say, Mango, I said, follow the red crumbs, not cookie crumbs. There we go. That makes sense because in an investigation, <laughs> much like Hansel and Gretel, there is often a trail of breadcrumbs that leads you to the culprit and the other clues and whatnot. So you follow breadcrumbs, you do not follow cookie crumbs. And there you go. That's essentially how to draw Mango and Brash from the investigators. And like any uh, proper artist, you should always sign your work. So I'm going to put my name at the bottom right here. There you go. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you had fun.